talk more about that in a second. There's a newsmaker line. Hold everything. Let's use on the old newsmaker line there, Pete. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kim and Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> hey, Jerry, how's it going? How's it going? Anything new? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. How's work? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys going to get some time off? <laughs> I should know about this. No, 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 keep moving. <laughs> Just another old day at the salt mine. <laughs> Bring up the old ball and chain right here. All right. Yeah. Kim, I don't know if you're aware of this, but while you're oh, on yeah, hold station, on. I'm sorry. Ball and chain. No, that was wrong. What I meant, no, it could be a ball and chain. Oh, could be a guy. Could be a girl. Could be anything. I'm sorry, Jerry. Go right ahead. It's attached to a convict. It's a guy, it's a guy thing. God. There you go. Please don't call. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this, Kimma. Yes. But while you're on vacation, they repeal the First Amendment. <laughs> well, see, there's my problem. I didn't keep up yeah, with the but news. But only for conservative liberals are allowed to say, print, email, or post whatever slanderous, libelous lies they want. So, it's, you know. I was misinformed. experiment repealing it for conservatives and see how it works out, you know. Good so far. You know, Kimma's suspension was a news to a lot of us, Kimmer. It was a news to a lot of us, yeah. Not to mention the hangman. He said, hell, I wasn't coming in until Thursday anyway. <laughs> Kim has been off? Really? <laughs> <laughs> they weren't talking about it down at the cigar shop. How did he know? Exactly. <laughs> over 680 the fan. <laughs> what if they have anything over there? <laughs> it's weird you being off the air for so long, Kim. Yeah, so long, yeah. Do you realize for eight days the staff at Conan O'Brien had to write their own jokes? <laughs> Mike Lukovich had to come up with his own editorial cartoon ideas. Oh. Steve McCoy and Christopher Root actually had to compose their own tweets. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more thing before yes, I let you go. Yes, Jerry. Is it true you're going to be moving to Buckhead soon? Be moving to Buckhead, sir? You know, after you win that lady's house in the lawsuit, it looks like a pretty nice <laughs> Yeah, I'm moving know, everybody in. Golden years and you're budging in on Beaufort Highway. You know, you gotta, you gotta think before you slander somebody or tortiously interfere with their right to earn a living. <laughs> Not that I've researched that or anything with no. my time off. <laughs> One more thing before I let you go. Yes, Kim. yes, Jerry. Did you see where the first time, and this was great in my opinion, women were allowed to play a tournament at Augusta National? Augusta National Women's Tournament, yeah. Well, it was good to see because women have added so much to the game of golf. They've added so much, sir? <laughs> That's all I'm allowed to say. Pick it up! That's why God created women, Kimmer. Why did he create women in the first place? Because hopes and dreams can't be realized on their own. <laughs> and they're so much so more genteel. <laughs> Very cagey. Good job, sir. <laughs> I think we're good for another couple of minutes. <coughs> 307. 334. There's the news regal line. Peace. He's on the old uh, news regal line. Uh, good afternoon. Hey, Kimmel, this is Charles Bartlett calling, uh, man. Hey, Charles, how's it going, buddy? What's new with you, man? <laughs> Anything going on I should know about? No, no. <laughs> Not really. Now, how's work been treating you? <laughs> about the same, actually, Charles. <laughs> Another day. <laughs> hey, Kim, when did you start hanging out with Robert Kraft? Robert Kraft? What do you mean, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. You just got you got yanked off the air. <laughs> I didn't hear that last part. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought maybe you'd hooked up with Jeff Jeff or something. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might. Man, you Kimmy, you know, I understand that uh, you got suspended. Uh, yeah, suspended. Yeah. That's the bad news. Is the good news is, unlike Aaron Hernandez, it wasn't at the end of a rope. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Some suspensions. Well, I hear that is what's going to be next. In the words of, <laughs> in the words of my favorite actor, Robert De Niro, I've heard things. I've heard things are not good. Sorry, he's. He's gone. There's nothing we could do. We tried. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone, and that's it. You know, we tried. We had a little problem. He's gone. 
you got to understand, Kim, the Democrats have no problem being represented by a congresswoman yeah. who live in another state. I mean, <laughs> hell, they elected a president of the United States who wasn't even born in the United States. So what the hell do they care? Good point. As long as they get their check for doing nothing every month. Good point, sir. Can I say that? Yeah. Way? Well, we'll check. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out in a minute, yeah. probably. Yeah. Well, it's good to see Jack Nicholas at Augusta at part three tournament. Oh. Oh, God, poor yeah. man. Did, did you wonder when the last time them pants he was wearing actually fit? <laughs> I love Jack Nicholas. He's my uh, golf hero. My hero, man. Man, he could barely walk. He was stooped. Oh, poor thing. God. Uh. Talk about a big gut Jack has switched from McGregor Gregor to Dunlap. <laughs> <laughs> his gut Dunlap up with golf pants, man. I mean, a little extra stuff I mean, going on here. Jack Nicholas is fat. Are you kidding? He's fat. Yeah, well. <laughs> Whatever side of the green Jack's in, well, that's why the putt's going to break. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Marcus Ball with a York peppermint patty. <laughs> I love Jack Nicholas. Is, <laughs> is, is that in your line? I'll bite a little of it off for you. <laughs> <laughs> What's for lunch? <laughs> Anybody hungry? <laughs> I could eat. <laughs> is that fermented cheese? <laughs> Completely lost it. I'm sorry. We, anyway, the, they're continuing to drop like village people and Hamilton cast members over there at CBS 46. You know? Only 46, losing some more. Oh, they let go of chief meteorologist Paul Osman. Apparently, Paul didn't fit over at 46 because he actually knew what he was doing. You know? <laughs> oh, they let Paul Osman? Oh, I can't believe it. I know. Paul knew his days for number when people in the hallway started saying, Hey, Kim, how's it going? <laughs> He's the one who trained me when I did Weather Over Channel 5 know, many years ago. I know. Hey, man, that's bummer. Channel 46 News Director of the Month, Steve, when will they show me the door? <laughs> Could not be reached for comment because apparently he'd be looking for a job at a real TV station, too. So. <laughs> and one more thing I was talking about the masses. I've been watching yeah. a little of it, Kim. Yeah, I was really, so yeah. good to see the women's get to play last the week. Women, women played and Augusta, yeah, last week. As a matter of fact, you know, I Charles Barkley ain't known for my golf game, but I used to be a player a little bit when I was at the Phoenix Suns. When you were the and Phoenix Suns, I'd like Suns. to take this opportunity on the Kimmer Show yeah. to offer my two tips for women golfers. Two tips for women golfers, sir. Sell your clubs <laughs> and get the hell down to the PGA Superstore and buy yourself a better set. You deserve it, ladies. <laughs> well, you turn that one right around here, Charles. <laughs> I'm the orders to turn them around. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get funny as long as that PC, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want to get fired or anything. <laughs> yeah. I got the cumulus bill of rights today. The first and second amendment were both missing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> great to be on the show. Oh, thank you, Charles. <laughs> it's all water over here, my friend. Three thirty-eight. All right, hold on. A couple headquarters. Hold on. Here's a newsmaker line four zero three. See who's on the old uh, newsmaker line there. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kimmer. This is Judge Smales calling. <laughs> hey, Judge, how's it going? <laughs> well, you learn something every day. Do you, sir? Well, I had no idea the 6th District of Georgia was in Chattanooga. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. I had to stand her next to a neighbor's Brian Joyce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I live in Atlanta, too. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that work out? <laughs> I only come here when I, me and my companion, Wink Wink, are going to the Philippines. <laughs> Gee, why would you? Here? Hey, well, I'll be damned. Hey, where are the <laughs> girls? <laughs> girls must be late. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, as a, yes. as a judge, judge. And a, one who loves the law, I'm so glad to hear yes. that your company is following the Outback Steakhouse philosophy of fair employment. Well, what, what's that philosophy, sir? No rules, just right. <laughs> I think I'll send them e eight emails a day to read their own got their own employee handbook. <laughs> Why don't you try reading it? <laughs> anyway, I've written a brief, brief poem that oh, I hope will oh. make you and Pete and the whole crew oh. feel better. Oh, thank you, Judge Smales, right here. It's easy to frown and feel really down when you're the victim of slander and hate. Yes. You can't win for losing when the one who's accusing doesn't even live in this state. <laughs> <laughs> Judge <laughs> Pookie. <laughs> I got a question for you. I don't yes. know a lot about Georgia. I've been there many yeah. times. Yeah. It's a great state, but it's, yeah. has tax evasion become a prerequisite to run as a Georgia Democrat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Just wondering there. Here, possibly true. Did you see where Iranian lawmakers convened a recent legislative session with the chant, Death to America? Death to America, they're saying. Which is coincidentally the way they open most meetings of the Georgia Democrat Party. Right? <laughs> how they start most board of director sessions at the villages of Town Lake. <laughs> they don't like the American flag up there. Right. <laughs> Let me finish, Mr. Halbert. Sorry. <laughs> I jumped the gun here. <laughs> well, you should suspend yourself. <laughs> I might. <laughs> Tonight, yeah. <laughs> Getting a Viagra, I'm going to try it. Anthony Bourdain, yeah. <laughs> Swing both ways, you've got a chance at everybody. Anyway. <laughs> yes, sir. Is an avid golfer? Yeah. I have a, by the way, what did... What did Ty shoot today? What did Mr. Webb? <laughs> Mr. Webb. Well, he doesn't uh, go by score, sir. <laughs> what do you think he shot? Yeah. Uh, 68, 67. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been following the action down at Augusta National, yeah. and it looks like Tiger Woods could finish with a 69, Kimmer. Could finish with a 69? Yeah, and he's 300 par out on the course as well. <laughs> Always. Go. Judge Smales, terrific honor to have you aboard, Judge. (laughs) Hey, Whitey, where's your hat? 407. Hold on, Newsbreaker Line. Pete, here we go. See who's on the old Newsbreaker Line. Uh, Good afternoon. I put a wall. My back's all (laughs) good. It's the Masters champion, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. It's a really, really, really tough out there, Timber. Yeah. Really, really tough. I just got off the course, this Tiger Woods. Oh, really? So tell us what, how, what was going on there. How was you? Well, what's new with you? <laughs> Are they treating you right, Tim? <laughs> yeah, pretty good so far. <laughs> Nobody's shooting at me yet. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased, Kimmer. I got it up and down four times. Oh, did you? Uh-oh. But enough about the Perkins parking lot. <laughs> I had some good saves out there, too. I was chipping well, and I was pitching well, and my bunker shots were good. Good sand my play. My felt fine. Yeah. <laughs> Happy with my game. I finished with a 70. I just put it off for 70. Oh, that's Although, you know, I was kind of, well, I kind of stepped on it coming in, but then, you know, I those hangman mail and that's what those really work. I literally <laughs> stepped on it coming in, you know. Just, thank God I was not wearing metal spikes. I, been, <laughs> I like the old days. Like a, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> like a what's calling. You should have seen my... <laughs> You should have seen my playing partner, John Rom Kimmer. John Rom, what, what do you mean? Oh, man, on the bag nine, he drained more snakes than uh, Stormy Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> he was That's putting long really punch. well up. <laughs> Curving punch. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's a good day overall. I, 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 was, I putted well. My back felt good. The conditions were tough. Well, well could, you, could, really, you expand really little, could you expand a little, Tiger, on, on exactly what, what more well, it was, was like? I was putting really well, uh-huh. and the conditions were really tough. Uh-huh. And my back, it feels really, really good. So well, there you I go. I that clarifies what you <laughs> really appreciate the <laughs> extra detail. <laughs> yeah. I was having some Lindsey Vaughn problems with my drivers out there. Though. Lindsey Vaughn problems? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean, sir? Well, I couldn't get it to turn over. <laughs> Long and straight is fine, but sometimes you want to let out the chef. You know? <laughs> well, you try to get it as near get... the hole as you can. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I got to. I got to get on the practice team. Work out. Do things with my caddy, Joey Lacava. You know. Yeah. You know what I said to him after the tour championship. You oh, know? what did you say to Joey? Well, I compared it to a date with Samantha B. I said it was ugly, but it got the job done. <laughs> can I say that? No, not anymore. No. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I got a joke for you. All right, sir, Tiger. Thank you. You know the difference between the Augusta National Golf Club and the Oasis Spa in Palm Beach, Florida? The Augusta National and the Oasis Spa in Florida. I don't know the difference, sir. At the Oasis Spa, you would never hear Tiger Woods yell, Bite! Bite! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> Same old Tiger! <laughs> oh, great to be here. Thanks. Oh. Thank you, Tiger. Tiger Woods. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like your station. Certain people get fined and certain people don't. I've never been fined. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Tiger. <laughs> Total honor, sir. 435. Got lines are jammed. Hold on. Special late live edition of the Newsmaker Line. Good afternoon. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? This is Tiger Woods calling back. I hope you don't let me call again. <laughs> no, I- please do, Tiger. What's up, man? Well, well, I know there was a lot of things, a lot of ground I covered in my you know, riveting information pack interview last hour. De- <laughs> details, almost too many to write down, frankly. <laughs> yeah, there's a few things I left out that I wanted to Oh, please tell do. Everybody, yes, know? sir. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm hitting my irons well. My knee feels good. Yeah. Okay. And uh, did I mention I was looking forward to the weekend? 
<laughs> well, you know, Golly, could you maybe expand a little bit there, Tiger, so we can get the full story? You want me to elaborate on that? Yeah, elaborate a little bit if you would, sir. Well, I'm hitting my irons really well. <laughs> my knee feels really oh, good. Oh, really good? Well, I just, yeah, did I mention I was really, really, really looking forward to the weekend? So you're really, really looking forward to it. Well, that's, that's, and, that's, and you, you know you know what I've heard about this weekend, Kevin? What have you heard, sir? Oh, man, conditions are going to be tough. Really, really <laughs> tough. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun, though. It's going to be fun. <laughs> You know, I was hoping to see you out there today, Cameron. I was really. Uh, I guess I couldn't. You couldn't con uh, Bill Sheehan. <laughs> that old buddy, old I never kind of. <laughs> it was a misunderstanding. Years ago, and then, uh, 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 then leave his ass in the parking lot. And I and never. Nice life and everything, you know? It was a misunderstanding. <laughs> Cameron. Virtually, Tiger Woods. Special shout out to the Nike ball fixing henchman. I don't know if you're watching the ball. Oh, the guy he again, did he? World on number nine. Oh, yeah. They <laughs> sailed over Chandra Levia so far in the woods. And the ball <laughs> magically winds up in the edge of the fairway. So, help me God. I'll be damned. You, you won't believe it. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. What a strange quink a dink. <laughs> yeah. What a lucky break for Tiger <laughs> Try explaining that. That would be like trying to explain how a Georgia congresswoman lives in Tennessee. I don't do get it, it myself, sir. <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm totally Tiger Woods. Uh, did I mention yeah. that I'm hitting my irons well and I'm looking forward to the weekend? Really well. A personal, the, yeah. a personal record today in Augusta. Well, what do you mean, sir? Which one? What? First time I played 18 holes in a Masters without taking an illegal drop, bullying an official, and getting away with it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> don't count that. I was interfered with it. What a free drop, sir. <laughs> That's right. Cheating runs in the family. You remember how my father, Earl Woods, flaunted USGA rules by taking that hangman no-show job at Nike for 250 grand when I was at Stanford, and nobody said a God bless word about that. No, well, what like, a shocker. Guess who I signed with after I turned pro? Oh, let's see. Golly, would it be uh, Adidas? Nike, or? maybe. Nike. <laughs> so that's a callback this time. Yes, so sir. New feature. Yeah, new, new feature. Tiger, tiger, tiger Neck. The magnificent. Tiger Neck the Magnificent. The answer is Patrick Reed and the Kimmer. Patrick Reed and the Kimmer. Name two people no one's pulling for. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> so freaking mean. <laughs> A prostate cancer patient and Rory McElroy. A prostate cancer patient. Oh, I heard that. And Rory McElroy. Name two people who have problems finishing. <laughs> Number 12 at Augusta National and the Russian women's swim team. Number 12 at Augusta and the Russian women's swim team. Name two places where you see a lot of balls in the water. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> I hold in my hand the last tiger neck. The <laughs> last right tiger Yay! neck. All righty then. May you be behind a group of four women playing golf. And be amazed at how quickly they play. <laughs> they made me edit that one. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> we do us. Came down from management right before I called. There you go. Yeah. God, those ladies, they play so fast. Oh, they're wonderful. They they're they're such a, a good <laughs> addition to the course. <laughs> no practice swings, no fixing their hair. They no. just get right up. They don't talk field. or anything. Just go ahead and play, you know. <laughs> I can barely keep up with them. <laughs> See, that's comedy right there. <laughs> Cover me on this one. All right, sir. Greg Norman, Tom Weisskopf, and Barbara Eden. Greg Norman, Tom Weisskopf, and Barbara Eden. <laughs> Name three people who've blown their share of masks. Great Away with their skills. <laughs> I'm hitting my irons pretty good, man. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Good, Bill. Oh. Man. Thanks for sharing, Tiger. <laughs> Get all that down on paper. 506.